Hi everyone, Jamie King Mims, occupational therapist. Hey, I wanted to share a fun activity uh, with you um, to just give you another opportunity to work on some handwriting, some strengthening, um, all the way up into the shoulders, as well as some visual scanning and even some force grading. Uh, so you will need the following pieces of equipment, a baking pan, dry erase markers. You don't need different colors. You can just use one. Different colors can build in some different concepts. A Cheerio. If you choose not to use a Cheerio, you could also um, use a coin. So we all get tired of writing on paper. So why not write on a baking sheet? Um, don't worry, you can use one that you have at your house. Um, or you can go and get a shiny, clean, cheap one at the dollar store. It's really up to you. All right, so let me show you what I am going to do. Okay, you're gonna place your baking sheet on the table in front of you, and you're gonna take your dry erase markers. Again, you can use one color or you can use multiple colors. Um, and we're going to write the alphabet on this baking sheet. Now, we don't have to write it in sequential order. Um, so this is where we can work on uh, some the visual scanning piece by placing the letters in different places on the baking sheet. Um, let's say I want to work on vowel recognition as well. Um, so I'm going to write my vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and Y, in a different color. All right, now you see I did not place them in any certain order. Now I'm going to write my other consonants here in black by placing them in different places, especially across the pan. You're really going to work on your students' visual scanning. All right, so in this particular I was working on writing my capital letters. You could also do this in lowercase letters. Um, it is really up to you as far as what skills you want to target with this activity. All right, so now comes the fun part, and this is where the strengthening and the visual scanning comes in, as well as the force grading. So I'm going to use my coin or my Cheerio, it's up to you, and you're just gonna place it on the tray. And if you want to, again, if you want to challenge the student's um, arms, especially up into the shoulder and across the shoulder girdle, we're going to ask the student to stand up to do this. This could also be done sitting where they're sliding the corner coin across, but I'm going to show it to you in standing. So go ahead and ask your student to stand up. All right, so I am standing with my tray, um, and I'm going to stand with my arms fully extended. And now I'm going to move my coin across the tray so it stops on the desired letter. So I move my coin to stop on the A. Now I'm gonna to move to stop on the B. C. D. F G H I J K L. All right, so you get the idea. Um, this is not easy. This is very challenging. Um, and that is where the grading of the force really comes in is because I have to be careful of how much I move it so that I can stop it on the letter that I want. Um, you could also make this a little bit harder. 
um, by mixing up capital and lowercase letters. You could make it a little harder instead of having them go in sequential ABC order. You could call out a letter for them to then find and get the coin on it. Um, almost like drawing a letter out of a hat and then they have to find it. Again, by looking down at this tray, the student has to visually scan and then stop and focus on that letter. So we're working on that visual perceptual piece um, as well as building in some handwriting and then again, some strengthening up into the arms and the shoulders in order to move that coin. So I hope you and your students have fun with this activity. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yes, this does come off very easily as I wipe with a paper towel or a wet wipe. I can easily clean it off, send it through the wash, um, and then it's good to go if you still need to bake that uh, those cookies later. So any questions, please comment. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy.